All right, all right. Yeah, what's going on, everybody? This is We're back at it again with the next unit and rune showcase for December. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Um, I generally do one unit of rune showcase um, once a month after the rune removal. Just to give you guys a little update on where I'm sitting at with my units of runes, my projects, my plans. Um, you know, kind of tell you what's going on, what's going down. And uh, kind of go from there. Um, this one, unfortunately... I didn't get everything I wanted to get done in the time. Uh, things got a little hectic over the weekend, so didn't have a time to um, update the new runes that I got. But a lot of the new runes, um, in, in the optimizer that is, but a lot of the new runes that I got, I kind of had a game plan of what I wanted to do with them. And so I went ahead and uh, just, you know, made the changes that I could now, right? YOLO. And, uh, you know, just try to do what I, you know, what I could. So we'll go ahead and go over those units. Talking about different changes. Some of them were pretty um, instrumental, and then some of them were just, you know, testing around and whatnot. So, um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of go through the, I'll go through the units and runes real quick on the people that didn't get changed. Um, Megan, Violent Megan, um, definitely a fan favorite of it. If you can get the speed that you generally used to have when you were sitting at that um, Swift set, you know, uh, I, I think a 200 plus Megan is, uh, Definitely, uh, you know, respectable and swift, but if you can get it going on violent, you're going to see quite the change um, in a variety of your teams, whether it's, um, you know, your Bernard, Megan, Devolution team uh, in, in the arena, you know, getting the opportunity to buff and then um, do the beneficial blocker on Theo when you're going against Theos, or um, when you're going up against the Dragon's Vitana, you get the opportunity to get this skill a lot quicker than you can or have this skill available a lot quicker than you can. Uh, it's really nice to have. Really nice to have. So, uh, next one up, Zhao Lin. I got. I don't. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, as you guys know, I've been farming Giants V10 for quite a bit. I've had a lot of the spare runes, but I've gotten a few uh, blade runes along the way. I guess I can move this right so you guys can see. Um, so just throwing in some runes for now. This is basically like the, like uh, the backup of the backup of the backup of the spare runes. So as you can see, her attack is quite low. Um, her speed is quite low. It's not on par with my 145, uh, you know, synced up, you know, units, but the crit rate is there and she is rocking crit damage. Like I said, a little bit low. Um, but you know, if I do find a team to, you know, mess around with her and I pair her up with Theo, she's good on the crit rate. Um, in addition, um, you know, besides having the, uh, you know, the, uh, she's kind of like, uh, Clara in the such that her third skill allows you to, you know, have the chance to stun. Um, but of course, Clara's is, you know, um, an AOE versus, you know, just four attacks or whatever. Um, but what I do like about this one is, you know, it can, you know, you can't counterattack after the thing is on cooldown. So if you counter attack and chain, that's more, you know, extra hits in order for you to, you know, get a couple more stuns. So we'll save it or work around with them. As you guys know, with Guild Wars, I generally stick to about eight units or so, uh, mixing and matching eight units, eight to nine units, just because those are my strongest units. So try to, um, figure out if I can make her work. Um, at the end of the day, yeah, I, I might end up taking the runes and putting it on, on Clara because Clara's base stats in general um, are just overall better, especially the hit points. So, you know, like I said, kind of looking at these stats right now, um, Clara would be at 16k, 17k hit points, which is pretty respectable for a damage dealing unit. Um, so, yeah, no no runes for Kaz. Uh, just really haven't had an opportunity to, um, you know, mess around with it or whatnot. Um, a lot of the Swift Blade runes that I have, um, I didn't get, um, I had a, a couple more things to try. Now, that being said, um, don't be surprised if you see this in a video in the future because I do have, I do have one Swift Blade set that I'm, that I'm messing around with, but, uh, I have the runes broken up, um, into a couple of the units. So, take no, because that might, <laughs> that might be subject to change. That might be subject to change. So, um, next one up, Chandra. Yes, uh, the the one and only. Um, no changes here. Violent Revenge, HP, crit damage, HP. Um, uh, obviously, my 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 bread, my butter, my what's it called? Uh, I'm trying to think of the uh, the the movie in Gone Gone in sixty seconds. Lenora is it? Eleanor. Eleanor. This is my Eleanor. This is my Eleanor. Right. Um, you know, he was always sitting around that 81 crit rate and uh, 151 crit damage. And then a couple months ago after the interview, um, with Comptoise Dude, 
Uh, I was able to get this rune and got stupid lucky on the crit rate. So I got his crit rate at actually at 105 crit rate. So I made some adjustments to get a little bit more crit damage, a little bit more hit points. And um, he's doing pretty, pretty well. Unfortunately, the downside is that I don't have the speed on the substats. So it kind of goes back and forth. Uh, I really want to get him in that plus 40 to plus 50 speed with these kind of stats. But it just can't be done while keeping him on Violent Revenge. And, and as you guys know, uh, Violent Revenge, revenge on, on this particular unit has to be done. I really wouldn't change um, stats to give me a little bit extra speed um, if I lose out of revenge, just for the fact that this you know this skill gives me the opportunity to get my speed buff back. Um, if you crit, which you know at 100% crit rate, it's it's pretty darn strong. But in addition, I have the opportunity to stun with this attack, so it's it's too strong not to uh, you know to try to break it up. Um, Sigmaris, no changes. Attack, uh, attack, crit damage, attack. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking to, uh, you know, hopefully improve the runes, but honestly, Sigmaris right now is just the unit to clear out secret dungeons and nothing else. Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't played around with it at all. Um, Tyron. Okay, Tyron, no, no new changes, but I will go ahead and showcase the rune. Despair Broken, and we're going speed, uh, crit damage attack, and the reason why I'm going speed is because of a team that I used to use way back when in Guild Wars, uh, Tyron, Averamos, and Orion. That was a YOLO team that I put on to read a defense and caught some people off guard. Um, with the stats that I get on these runes, um, that's why I kind of do what I do on it. Um, a lot of spots that I would miss out on the attack for using speed. I have an attack percentage on some of these runes here. And then, you know, the crit rate, crit damage on a few other ones. Um, attack, extra attack here. Kind of gives me those attack-ish stats without having the uh, speed rune on it. Now, that being said... Um, you obviously you can get a lot more bang for your buck if you're going uh, attack on there but again it all depends on the units um you know the runes that you have for the units and what your kind of goal is and, and my goal is to uh, be as fast as possible with this one to, and, and do as much damage as possible so um orion orion it is what it is yeah buddy okay so again another one of my you know fan favorites 213 speed all day and um doing okay doing okay um Got to be saving up some money so I can max out this rune. i kind of been kind of getting lazy. Um, I recently just maxed this one rune out. And uh, now I'm, you know, getting it done. So as you can see, guys, uh, speed, de uh, defense, hit point. And I'm going to get uh, more into my arena defense in a future video. Um, but uh, 213 speed on violent and 62% um, accuracy. Uh, I definitely recommend 50% or more uh, if you can. Uh, it's definitely the way to go when it comes to this particular unit, you know, busting out the harmless prank. So, again, uh, the biggest question I get with the Orion is, you know, should I be using it, you know, this and that, whatever. Uh, you know, and, and should I go Violent or Swift? Um, I like both setups. I like Violent. I like Swift. You're gonna, I think you're going to see a lot more, um, a lot more of that, uh, you know, quote-unquote RNG factor come into your side when you're, when you're using them. Um, on the violent aspect, but um, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with a swift base Orion, especially if you're, you know, on AO using it, um, or if you have the opportunity to get yourself a nice swift set that'll put you in that, you know, plus 160 to 170 range, because this is pretty darn close to the base stat of Bernard, and Bernard obviously is a uh, great, great unit, but this one, you know, on swift still has the opportunity to get additional turns with his first skill, so. Again, it's it's all about getting that first turn, and if you have the opportunity to get yourself, you have that extra Swiss set sitting around that allows you to get yourself that uh, you know two seventy plus speed. Then Orion still um, consider one of the you know fun fun units to play around with um, in the meta today when it comes to Swift. So um, Theo Mars, I've been trying to improve his rooms. I really have. I haven't had the opportunity to get anything um, really good. Uh, it's kind of weird. I don't I don't really think that you need to go. Um, Violet Revenge, but as you can see, just the, the, the Revenge runes that I have on, I just, it's too hard to break it up, um, you know, I can make, I could try to make some changes, but, um, it's so funny, like, every time I, uh, want to, like, try to improve and maybe, you know, drop my, you know, attack for a speed rune or, or whatever, um, I look at, I look at my stats overall and I'm just not happy with them, and, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I, I generally have one random fight where, you know, everything's going to town and they're, you know, Theo Mars is getting his, his butt whipped because he's he proc the Endure buff and everybody's hitting him because he's low health. And then all these hits will generate that counterattack. And depending on who I'm attacking, you know, if that counterattack is on a unit that has a defense break, I've definitely 
I have killed I've killed them, you know, I've killed them on the counter attack because he has the elemental advantage and so um, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy. So um let's see. So next one up, uh Chilling, uh the water jack o' lantern. Was extremely excited about this unit when I first got it, you know, hoping to, you know, improve my teams all day. Um, but I tried to replace him for a couple of units in uh, Dragon's B10 team. And while it worked, it definitely, it didn't allow me to really increase my overall speed. I think I need a little bit, uh, a, a couple more units over there um, to get my, to get a yellow team kind of going on. If I had Vertihill, um, I might be able to work out something um, with, it, with a little bit more of a yellow setup. Since I have this guy to remove his... Uh, the dragon's uh, beneficial effects. Um, but for right now, this is kind of what we're rocking. Um, attack, crit damage attack with... Um, obviously, this room's not bad. I just recently put this room in there, but I'll get it maxed out. Uh, attack, crit damage attack, just to try to add a little bit more damage to my Necropolis team. Um, if you guys saw my B10 team in the Sunday Funday, uh, it's set up so that the damage dealers, Hua and Shiwa... Um, get pulled, you know, 99 times out of 100. Um, so recently made some changes, so I'll go ahead and skip up to it. I took out, as I stated in that video, I took out Hua, uh, the 6-star Hua, and put in the 5-star Hua. And she's sitting on Violent Energy. <laughs> Don't laugh too hard. Defense, crit damage, attack, right? Defense, crit damage, attack. So 15k hit points, 700 defense, which is kind of sad because I need to max out this rune, right? But um, as you can see, I'm trying to get myself the crit rate and crit damage that I need to do well. Um, and again, she needs to hit hard. She's the last one to go and she needs to hit hard. Um, you can see here some of these old, old runes. If anybody's been following me for months on end, some of these runes I've had literally since, uh, summer of 2014. And these are all very, very old runes. So, um, because this particular unit is still five star and I'm kind of slacking on that, um, more than likely I'm going to go ahead and max out this rune to get a little more hit points. Um, and if I get, you know, tons of fodder in the future, uh, I'll probably six star. But right now, these two units are five star and I'm getting the clears in the Necropolis B10 that I want. So I might as well just run with it. Um, I'm, I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about that life. All right, let's see. Uh... All right, guys, we're back once again. Sorry about that. I had to change locations. Uh, so I do apologize for the fan in the background. I'm just going to have to make it do what it do. All right. So here we go. Um, you know, we were just finishing up on chilling and of course the two five-star units, uh, Hua and Colleen. Um, Colleen, actually I'll, I'll just jump into it real quick since we're already showing her. Violent Revenge, uh, defense, de <laughs> defense, uh, hit points. Okay, so, uh, it's not, this particular situation, I like a little bit more hit points on this one, you know, since her hit points are built on the percentage of hit points, but, um, it's giving me the speed that I want, the accuracy that I want. Um, as you can see from these two to, these two runes, so it allows me to have a good amount of accuracy and uh, just overall overall stats in general are really good. So um, 15 to 17k health is what I was generally shooting for all my units, um, but since I'm able to mix it up with you know that kind of health plus the defense, and it's it's been doing it's been doing good. It's been doing good. So um, as far as Hua being in there, the five star Hua for this is six star Hua because of the fact that her uh, runes are, you know, really good. I got the 15% energy here, 20% energy. Um, and then of course I got the energy subset. I'm getting myself a lot of, um, extra hit points here. So I'm getting the hit points that I want. Again, the defense that I want when I max it out. So, um, at the end of the day, it's still doing a good job. Um, obviously since I don't have these, you know, uh, skill ups like I do with my other Hua, damage is a little bit lower, but generally speaking, uh, her or she Hua always gets pulled. Um, in the Necropolis B10 run. So, next one up, one of my latest and greatest units, Galleon. Um, yeah, he. I, I kind of went back and forth with regards to the changes on him. He was an interesting change to say the least. So, uh, we'll take a look at his setup here. Uh, Violent Focus. Violent Focus. We're rocking speed. We're rocking hit point, and we're rocking attack. Now, this was a controversial change. Um, you know, in my opinion, I, I feel like because he does have the ability for, you know, defense break on one, I think that the Violent Revenge is a really, really good set. But um, if you guys first saw my Galleon, when I had him set up, I had, you know, about 68 accuracy or whatnot on Violent Revenge, but I had, you know, about 17k hit points, um, you know, really, really low hit points. And uh, the attack was, you know, not, not too good. 
Um, and so the reason, you know, reason for the change is I wanted to, I obviously wanted to keep revenge set, but, um, but I wanted to have his overall stats in general be good uh, with regards to hit points, attack, and so on and so forth, um, while maintaining that amount of accuracy. So, of course, you know, a lot of people, you know, do this kind of setup where they, you know, with regards to what they decide to do, hybrid, or if they do attack, or, you know, crit, speed, crit damage attack, speed attack attack, or speed hit point attack, whatever they do, it's, you'll, you'll, see, you'll see a trend. They generally uh, play around with it, you know, with the rest of hit point and, 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 or defense or, or, or attack or whatever on these four to six. They generally play around with it if they can get the subsets that they want from the accuracy on other runes. As you can see right here, the 17 here, the 12 here, in addition to having the focus runes, allows me to get the accuracy that I want, but then fill in, you know, a little bit extra attack or whatnot. Now, I actually was going speed, attack, attack, but as you can see, this particular rune had the hit points in addition to having uh, attack as well, uh, and of course accuracy here, so um, could it could it lay that one to, to rest there? I had to, I had to definitely uh, you know make that one in there, um, but again I'm still playing around with it because I played around with his skills you know maxed out. His his damage multiplier is not too bad um, on these on these skills, especially that second one. So I really would be surprised if I if I mix it up with some kind of crit damage you know approach uh, you know later on in the future if I get the right runes, but. Right now, my main concern was having a well-rounded damage dealer, speedy, with accuracy, without sacrificing accuracy on the six. You know, same kind of philosophy when we go when we talk about uh, Bella. You know, we're trying to go speed, hit point, hit point, get in as much speed and accuracy as we can um, on that particular unit. So, um, again, controversial setup. You know, one might argue that going violent revenge with the accuracy, whatever you could do to get the revenge on it. But again, my this team is set up as YOLO. I don't have any heals. Right, I just I'm trying to get the job done with the landing, but if I don't, I need to have a couple of hit points. I need to have the accuracy to land these skills when my turn comes in order to get the job done. So that's what it is. Um, no runes on rogue. Didn't even take them off to sell them. Fail. Uh, so was sort of back in the mix. Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I this is the one that I didn't get an opportunity to play around. She was originally in the Necropolis B10, but um, I wanted to try to use her more in the uh, just just in, in PvP, since I'm kind of limited in my units right now. And so uh, I was playing around with, uh, if you guys remember, one of the YOLO teams that I did was having uh, Jultan, uh, Hua, and, and Veramo. So what this did was provide me a defense break all day, AoE stuns as far as the immunity cleanse, and then an attack bar manipulator. And if you, as you see right here, the speeds are synced. 155 to 155, but Jewelton will always go first in a Guild War setting because I'm going to always put Jewelton as a speed, you know, speed leader. Now, regardless if he had, if he was speed leader or not, he will always go first, right? Because his base speed is higher than Hua, so when, when my speed tower comes into play, um, I'll get more bonus out of Jewelton than I won't here. But their speeds are pretty much in line. I like it like that. Um, that's what we're going to do with that. And, um, this is this is kind of again. This is another one of the units that is subject to change because I have some runes that are going to allow me to get her to 170 speed, but I need to get Jultan in that 162 uh, ish speed or whatnot before I do that. So once I get that all worked out, then I'll, I'll make the changes and, and show you guys here. But uh, Clara, no changes. I just threw on an, an extra Rage Blade set that I had laying around. Um, will I get a chance to use her throw on a team? Chances are you're only going to see her. Um, in a, in, a, in a specific setup with like a Chloe, you know, backing her up because she has no speed, so I need to, you know, use a Chloe to, to take away that first turn and uh, and then give her the opportunity to go after that. The cool thing is with Chloe blocking damage as she takes, then she'll have a 100% chance to critically hit so that she won't be taking any damage. And so with a crit damage modifier 188, it's not too bad. Attack's not too bad. It could be better. Uh, Spectra. Spectra made some changes because I had to flip around a couple units for Bernard. But overall, not too bad. I, I, need, I realized that I need to keep him at that 17k mark with regards to hit points. Um, he is in my Dragons B10 team, a crucial component as far as reducing the speed, uh, the reducing the attack bars on the, on the towers and getting that done. Uh, Draco, uh, minor change. He was at 203 speed, 202 speed, but I actually changed the rune out because I needed to borrow um, uh, one of the random runes that I had there for uh, for a different unit so I, I ended up losing out two speed on him 
But 200 speed Draco, he's actually in my uh, lineup right now for Guild Wars defense. I seen a, I was going back and forth with Draco, Chandra, Bella for a long time, and then Veramos, Chandra, Bella for a long time. And it seems like after one week of putting Draco back in there with 200 plus speed, uh, I'm yielding more um, defensive draws and defensive successes um, with him in there versus Veramos. It's kind of crazy because Veramos, you know, uh, gives the extra damage for Chandra, but obviously it's not all about Chandra. It's about getting the opportunity to, um, you know, have the attack bar boosting. You know, two units attack bar boosting plus immunity um, with Bella and Hua, or sorry, Bella and uh, Draco uh, versus just having uh, one attack each booster with uh, Bella is, is definitely nice. It's nice to have. So, yeah, buddy. All right. Um, let's see here. Leica, no changes. Um, I'm trying to think here. Do I have any changes that I can think of? No. He didn't change at all, unfortunately. He's still 60 crit rate, 160 crit damage. Um, he is generally paired up with uh, Theo. You guys have seen him in many, many videos. So he's generally, you know, at that 85% crit rate. And he does really well. I'm a big, big fan of him. I still, even though he's, you know, he's a liability because he doesn't have any kind of, you know, um, uh, you know, death prevention or whatever like that. He hits so hard and he doesn't glance that it's so, I find him so beneficial. I find him critting more on water-based units <laughs> than I do with just regular attacks. Like, he seems like he always pulls through on the critical hits. So the Theo Leica combo is a really big, big, um, you know, uh, thing for me. I love it. I love it. So, um, next one up, this is definitely one of the biggest changes I made thus far. Um, going from Violet Endure to Violet Guard. Now, uh, unfortunately I did it. I didn't get an opportunity to, um, finish this one out. Um, but I will basically go more in detail in a critical thinking video as why this change was made. Um, but 30 K hit points, and 1500 over 1500 defense okay um with with room to improve again i don't even have the best runes on it. i still gotta put another rune on but this is the this is the the uh setup that i put in just initially uh just just for the time being and then again like i said once i do the optimize and i'll make the changes i need to make and if there's way too many changes to make uh that i could do without you know with the money that i have then i'll consider just buying the rune mobile ticket whatever um hua Sorry, not Hua, Shiwa. Violent Revenge, I think she's attack across the board. Uh, no changes on her. I haven't maxed out her runes because <laughs> she's, every, like, the, the job's getting done uh, with, with regards to where she's at. Now, um, if I use this 5-star Hua, there's a possibility that, you know, the Hua is not going to do enough damage, so I need to kind of have a backup, and maybe, you know, maxing these out will be nice. I mean, this, this rune is a great rune right here um, to definitely use in the future, so I'll have to, you know, max it out, but... Um, right now, I'm getting the job done with 14k hit points and, and 2k attack here with a high crit rate. So, um, so far, so good. I'm not going to make any changes on that. Chloe, you guys all saw this a while back. Swift Energy, Speed, uh, Crit Damage HP, and of course, the only reason I'm going Speed here is the 15 Speed plus the 20% hit points. Um, I will more than likely take this rune to plus 12 here in the future, just in case I get myself a little bit of... Uh, uh, defense percentage is that right hold on i think that's right yeah i can get defense on three sorry um definitely any kind of defensive stat that i can get i should take it up there so this is a relatively new rune um so yeah gonna be messing around with that um uh, let's see let's see but yeah overall chloe is chloe again i paired this up with theo and guild wars so she does get to take advantage of having um, you know, 50% crit rate and the 137 crit damage. So she'll hit for um, 8 to 9k on a on a uh, defense broken unit. Pretty fun. Um, a little bit more of a YOLO kind of Jameer approach. I have not changed these runes in a long time. He's getting the backup of the backups of the backups. You know, obviously these are pretty junk runes. Um, he is only used for um, certain stages in TOA hard where I'm running a CC comp or my secret dungeons when I need a, a skill resetter for my Lucians. That's it. I don't use them for anything else. I would love to use them a little bit more in Guild War. Maybe play around with a high speedy despair set or something like that. Provide more stuns, but 
Um, I just haven't found a situation where I, I, I can find Bible. Um, I have I have used them a little bit with uh, Chloe, um, the quad Lucian, right? The double Lucian with a reset um, with Chloe. That's a nice composition. So I've used I've used them a little bit more on that. But other than that, I haven't done anything else. Um, so Lucian's uh, Vampire Broken and a Despair Broken. No reason for Vampire. No reason for um, the Despair. It's not like I really wanted to get a Despair set on him. It's nice to get the extra stuns if I don't kill him outright in the arena. But at the end of the day, it's all about getting the uh, 147 to 150 uh, speed. You know, getting those speed sinks and trying to do it without going with speed on two. As you can see right here, I got 50 speed on both, but no speed root on two. Um, I like it. This is, this is exactly what I wanted. Uh, and of course, you know, obviously I'm, I'm looking to improve that as I can. But overall very very happy with it um hopefully i can improve it in the future delphoi has not been changed in months violent will speed hit point hit point i just said i just don't use her all that much uh i've used i used to use her early on in my guild wars um for resetting uh and then i paired her up you guys saw i used to pair her up with uh like a delphoi dairy and chasun combo a, a lot slower combination but it was you know extremely reliable um Every once in a while, I'll pair her up in Arena with uh, Vanessa, Theo, Delphoi, and Bella versus uh, Theo-based comps that are relying on Theo. So I'll get the lead, reset Theo, and then use my Theo to kill their Theo. But overall, not a lot of use there. Um, next one up, again, is Shasun, Violent Nemesis, hit points across the board. Unfortunately, my uh, four and six hit pointers uh, are, are five-star runes, but... The five star roots with you know good stats that I want, getting the getting the uh, resistance that I want. Um, now uh, she might be making a change for the better, for the worse. Um, you'll see a lot of my you'll see a lot of talk in my arena defense uh, video coming up, critical thinking video. Um, with with regards to uh, Vanessa, you guys know that uh, he uh, Vanessa was on violent endure um, HP across the board, and now it's HP defense HP. So the endure runes that I had, I had an eighteen speed rune here and I had an 8 speed rune here so I have some extra runes to possibly play around it but obviously I'm a big 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 advocate of Nemesis especially when you're using Chasun as a solo healer um, in the uh, in the Guild Wars defense so my overall goal is to you know work that in um, I think I do have um, what do I have here I know I got a, a rune that I need to replace here we go a rune that's going to give me a little resistance, a little bit more speed than my than my um, rune on the two slot. So, um, got a little bit more room to improve, but right now, the Chasun is being, uh, is synced perfectly to what I want. Um, again, though, I, I, I really I really enjoy a, a fast, fast, fast rune, a fast, fast rune Chasun. If I can keep the hit points at around that 35k mark, that's the goal. Um, prior to all the you know buffs and whatnot. Um, another uh, favorite of mine, Brian. Haven't made any changes, but I'm a big, big fan of this setup here. Despair Revenge. Speed, hit point, hit point, if you have the hit point subsets to make up uh, for it. So, as you can see, I'm slacking a little bit here on this rune. I can definitely max it out and get a little bit more hit points. But overall, I'm satisfied uh, with these stats. 186 speed, 40k hit points. And this is another one of those units that we'll, we'll be talking about in a, in a, in a future Critical Thinking video. Um, the, the, the substats and whatnot, you know, looking for, um, you know, more into that, but definitely excited about that. Um, let's see, Bernard, as you guys know, it's always a uh, progress. I just recently picked up this rune last night. So yeah, buddy, um, I lost 10% or 11% hit points, but as you can see, my hit points are not too great. <laughs> it's because I'm rocking a crit rate rune on the, on slot four. <clears throat> and the reason being is it's 18 speed, right? You know, anything to get your speed up there is, is, is what's going on. And because this is part of my YOLO team for Giants V10, uh, I'm, I'm using the accuracy here, okay? Um, you know, obviously, try to get the first turn for the uh, double Lucian comms is really, really nice, and, and the job should get done with the Lucian. So, you know, having the most speed as possible is good. You know, I'd love to get a little bit more hit points on them, but it just... Right now, the focus is on as much speed as possible, you know, all day. If I was using them in a defensive setting, then I would consider mixing it up. But right now, the ultimate goal is just to have as much speed as possible. Uh, Amon and Darian are not being used. 
uh, Aria. Uh, doing really good. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, no changes. Speed, hit point, hit points. Again, another one of those setups where I, I put the focus runes and put certain runes on there. Oh, fail. I put certain runes on there um, to get the accuracy that I want. She is at, um, I think, about 85% accuracy. Um, and then, of course, she's able to get that accuracy with um, no accuracy rune on the six slots. So, yeah, buddy. All right, intermission. I ain't going to lie. I don't like it when I crash, but it happens. These, uh, these phones, man, I'll tell you something else. Man, all right. Moving back. Let's see where we're at. Was it 85? Yeah, 85 accuracy. Um, 160 speed. She's getting the job done with my uh, CC comp for TOA hard, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Corona, he's just in there for the uh, buffs for my secret dungeons. I do not use them in arena offense anymore. I do not use them right now in Guild Wars offense. I could, um, but right now I don't. I find more value in the, uh, in the uh, despair setup on him just because he does have an AOE. And, you know, since I'm, I don't have them set up to do damage, um, then I find more value in having the opportunity to stun in a Guild Wars setting. So if I, if I get back to using them in Guild Wars, I'm going to put a, a Despair set on them. But for right now, I just left everything as it is because the runes that were on them, I did not need them for anybody else. Um, so I didn't, I didn't make any crazy changes. But, yeah, nothing, no, no crazy runes there. Uh, Jubel, still Violet Revenge. No changes. HP across the board. Um... You know, okay, okay, uh, resistance, accuracy could use a lot of work. But, you know, guys, uh, for those that are trying to get, like, stupid amount of accuracy on here, this skill right here, Tawny Strike, it lands all the time. It is, it is, in my opinion, pretty reliable, you know, despite the low accuracy. So don't don't be trying to, like, go crazy with the accuracy on there. If you can, great. If not, no big deal. Um, Violent Nemesis on Veramos, 191. I haven't made any changes. I think he was, like, 193 one time, but... Um, he was with lower hit points, so, um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where I have not gotten, uh, violent runes with speed subsets in a while, because right now I'm farming, I'm farming, uh, Giants V10, not Dragons V10, so I haven't had any, uh, new improvements. Um, I do, I do have those extra Endure runes that I can put on her, on him, but, um, we're gonna, and that'll break up the Nemesis, so I don't, I don't find value in, in giving him 15 extra speed. Um, without Nemesis versus having Nemesis and, and having a little less. I might be wrong. Sometimes uh, people, you know, enjoy just going as fast as possible. But when I took a look at it, I think I was actually, when I look at, uh, at what I could do, I think the best I could do is get an extra, like, 12 speed or something like that. Um, and 12 speed is 12 speed. Um, but, yeah, so I'll have to keep on playing around with it. Uh, let's see. Violet Guard. Yeah, runes are not too good. Nice speed and crit rate rune there. Um, looking to have that 35k-ish hit points and then get his speed up to, like, um, I'm, I'm going to try plus 55. Try to get him 15 more speed because um, I want to improve my Hua. I can I can make my Hua. Um, I can get him her in the uh, 165 to 170 um, with the, more or less the same stats. So that's my goal. Uh, to go ahead and do that, and then, and then of course sync him up with with uh, with Jultan so I can use him in the uh, Guild Wars. Uh, Basalt, a TOA uh, Titan, <laughs> the TOA Titan. Uh, let's see here. We got hit points, and then we got defense. So I need to max this rune out. Uh, reason why I go defense is because of the 17 accuracy here. I think. Uh, Hit points across the board is the way to go uh, when you're trying to use it for TOA. But, again, it comes down to the runes that you got, and it's about, you know, what you make of what you got. So, um, you know, having 84% accuracy is extremely strong and reliable. And so I recommend it to anybody that can do it without going accuracy on on uh, 6. I'm, big, I'm very, very happy with this particular setup. Good speed, good hit points, good defense when it's maxed out, and then perfect accuracy. Um, yeah, Lynette and Laura are on the back burner. No big changes there. Um, uh, Beretta. So, um, uh, Laura actually had like a 196, um, speed set up here, but I, I, I didn't get the opportunity to play around with them all too much to, 
uh, use them in a Guild Wars comps. I found that even though he had the accuracy and whatnot here, this this it seemed like this particular skill was just unreliable. And I guess YDCB was having some issues with it too. So I haven't been playing around with it too much. And so I took some of her, his speedier runes, put it on Beretta. So now Beretta goes um, before a lot of my um, other units, other speedy CC comp goes. And I got the opportunity to um, reduce the cooldown time on Beretta with my Mav when I'm using it in uh, TOA boss settings. We already went over these two units. Um, Orochi is in the process of a Swift Blade setup. Um, I have the um, Swift runes that I want on. And then this, I'm borrowing for Zhao Lin, I'm borrowing this rune here um, on her. Uh, I'm borrowing it for that particular set right now to play around. But chances are, when I get Orochi six star, it's gonna go back on him. And uh, what I, what I might what I might go ahead and do since I don't have the units to six star Orochi right now, I might strip these uh, all day, and then like I was talking to you guys about Kaz earlier, um, I'm gonna put it back on Kaz just to have some fun because I think I think with this particular setup I have like plus forty uh, speed. So when considering um, the speed subsets that we got here. Uh, it's definitely, you know, something that's going to sink me right in line with all my other damage break, you know, defense breakers and whatnot. So if I can, if I can figure out a, um, a yellow comp, like, uh, my, my thought process was Galleon, Galleon at the speed lead and then Bernard, right? And then Kaz, that will give me, um, some crazy damage. Right, because this this is based on my speed, and of course, if I'm going to attack or damage attack with speed runes, this should do relatively well. So let, let's put it this way: I, I won't I won't do it right now, but by the time you see this, the next video you see, more than likely he's going to be runes. So it just makes sense to go ahead and take the runes off, and uh, put them on him because he's six star right now, and I can use it right away versus this. But I, d I definitely want to play around with the Rochi in the future. Uh, but I think right now, considering his um, his third skill is based on you know speed. Um, I think this would probably be the way, this would probably be the best way to go as far as a backup unit to Theo when I'm using the Galleon Bernard Theo combination. That's my yellow comp, but now I have the opportunity to mix it up um, and and run Kaz. So we'll we'll definitely do some testing out uh, testing in my next Guild Wars guys, so you guys can check that out. Um, yeah, buddy. Okay. A uh, couple more units left. Uh, Mavs, the last one. Uh, violent, violent focused. We're going speed hit point um, hit points. Um, need to max these runes out. I, this rune, I spent, I think, over like 500,000. And it's not even really a good rune um, to try to get that to plus 15. So I kind of gave up on that. This one, more or less the same. Um, I took off uh, Galleon's four-star rune uh, is on is on Galleon. And, and this is a replacement for um, for Mav for right now. You know, I'll, I'll try to mix it up in the future. Uh, but right now, this is this is what we're rocking with. Uh, this is a great, great unit for TOA Hard Guys if you haven't gotten a chance to play around with it. So definitely, you know, take a look at that. And, and hopefully you can get an opportunity to use it. Um, this unit, I tied this one in with uh, with Beretta, with uh, Basalt, Vermos, um, Spectra, and then he's the fifth one there. And it works a lot for, it works really good for the bosses. Um, as far as projects, uh, Thrain is still a project, uh, but he's going to be violent something with speed, hit point accuracy. Haven't gotten around to it. I've had the Water Neo Soul Agent for a while now, and I haven't, um, you know, messed around with her just because I don't have the violent rooms to make her viable in the arena. Um, but, you know, maybe in the future I can go ahead and do it. And then a little baby project. Uh, I guess we'll do a little, we'll talk about a little sneak peek here, but I'm currently in the process of, of you know, maxing out this particular unit and possibly, Possibly getting this one uh, evolved and, and to play around with this when the uh, three star or below arena comes out I'm gonna set up a yellow comp I'm gonna set up a yellow comp with uh, With Taru in there um, Since there's I think he's you know one of the few units out there um, At the three star stage, you know with it, you know, you got copper you got the fire Frank, so you got a couple of units out there um, that have the ability to ignore defense um, but this is, you know, one of the few units that can do it at a light and, at, that's light and dark, right? So I feel that his skill set that gives you the attack speed on the first turn, um, the ability to stun, and, of course, the big the big whammy here, being able to uh, 
um, do, do the ignore defense with a critical rate bonus um, is extremely strong. I think, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of people playing around with the uh, light imp, you know, come the uh, change. So stay tuned for that, guys. But as far as that goes, that is it. I will uh, definitely make a new video uh, if I make some really big changes. But stay tuned for the um, next critical thinking video that's going to be showcasing the arena defense that I'm using and talking about why it is the way it is. Um, again, guys, thank you all for tuning in. It's a pleasure to make these videos for you, as always. It's your boy, Childish, from Childish Place, checking out. Take care. We will see you next time, guys. We're out.